Hello, detective. I think you will find this interesting. A series of murders took place in the city. Just recently, another one happened in the city theater. I'll meet you at the crime scene. Your help with the case of the Plague Doctor was invaluable, so I thought asking for your help again is a good idea. Recently, a string of three murders happened in the city. We found no link between them, except that they happen in alphabetic order. The latest murder happened this morning. The victim, Colin Cox, was a young actor, a recent graduate. The theater is sealed already, so you are free to look around for clues. I'll ask the patrol to bring your car and equipment. Colin's dressing room is worth taking a look. If you find any clues or strange presents, don't forget to hand them over to me. Take this. After all, maybe the criminal is still hiding around here. Interesting. I saw the same tags at Adam's boutique. He was the second victim. Perhaps we missed something, and it seems that the murders are connected after all. You can go there and take a look. Arnold's son also showed up there recently. His name is Fred Jones. I think he arrived before Adam's murder and took up residence there. The police had to breach the boutique's door, so the lock is damaged. I think you can open it, though. You can get to the boutique through an alley. I'll go to the department and register our clues. Please take this hairpin spoke as a sign of my gratitude. It could be useful. 
I informed my colleagues of your involvement in this case, so visit the theater anytime.
I, I, I heard a noise downstairs and got here as fast as I could. H who are you? What are you doing here? Sorry, police called me recently and said that you could come. Uh, after all, I came to the city to find my father, Arnold Adams. I moved in here on the second floor of the boutique, but didn't even spend three days with him before his death. I was too late. Soon I will meet my father's lawyer and return to my mother. You can take a look at Arnold's workshop. He has been working on something a lot recently. This could help the investigation. I understand. You are a busy man. Sorry to bother you.
Dear Arnold, in a couple days my wife Norma will come back from her holiday trip. I invite you and, if you wish so, your former employee Colin to our estate. We'll discuss our continued cooperation, my sponsorship, and have a good time in general. I've attached the address to the letter in case you've forgotten it. I'm sorry, but I have to meet my lawyer. I have to close the boutique. My name is Barbara. I'm the mate here. Norma Brooks could be in danger. Please, check on her. I will look around the fire. Maybe the criminal dropped something. A lot of smoke could still be inside the house after the fire. Take my cap. It'll help you if that's the case.
are you? Detective. Oh, right. A masked man broke in and tried to get me to open Benjamin's safe, but I didn't know the password. So he broke into it, took the documents, and escaped through the window. Please find out why he came here. He could have dropped something. The letter says Benji knew someone was following him. He was worried about his and my safety. So he hid all the copies of the documents. Oh, you have to keep looking for traces of that person, and maybe we can find those copies.
this? There's all kinds of strange papers. Real estate, a secret will, and so on. Gather everything you found and wait for the police. Thinking about my husband like this, it's pretty sad. I'll ask Barbara to make me some soothing tea. Drinking tea by myself is bad manners for a host. Please, drink some with me. As it turns out, my husband tried to persuade Adams not to hand over the business to his son, but to pool his capital. Perhaps his son found out about it and killed Adams and my Benji. When the police arrive, we'll give it to them right away. <laughs> Good job, Barbara. This fool never saw it coming. He actually fell for it and thought that we called the police. Hmm. You've done an excellent job investigating this case, even managing to find Benji's papers, which I didn't expect. But now I have no more time to bother you. This will be your final resting place. Goodbye. Thank God you're all right. I was about to break that door down. My name is Donovan, and I was a butler to the late Mr. Brooks. Norma seems suspicious to me from the beginning. I tried to warn Mr. Brooks, but he wouldn't listen. Unfortunately, I couldn't prevent his murder and all the evidence was lost. 
but I manage to break into Norma's room and take some of her papers and photographs. I hid them somewhere here, but I forgot where exactly. So they conspired with Barbara. The man in this picture is Elliot Evans. Mr. Brooks worked with his law firm and Mr. Evans personally and very closely. I'm afraid he might be Norma's next target. Please help me fix Mr. Brooks's boat so that I can take you to town in it. I found this brooch. Maybe it will be useful to you.
All right, get in, and let's go to the police station. You must show this evidence to the officer in charge of investigating the murders and convince her to visit Mr. Evans. I'll drop you off and go straight to him. I have to warn him because he might be in danger. Excuse me. There's a lot of commotion at the station right now. We arrested Fred Jones on suspicion of murder, and during the search of his home, we found blank phone books and murder weapons. It looks like the case has already been solved. Wait, where did you get that? It's pretty surprising. I don't really understand what Norma and Barbara's motives might be, but I'll trust you. I know where Elliot Evans' office is, he used to be notorious for his involvement in not-so-legal deals. Convincing him to cooperate would be very difficult. Oh no! We've got to send help to Evans right away! Please, help me! I'm injured and can't open the lock on the door by myself. Stay here and help Mr. Evans, and I'll go catch the culprit. Thank you. I'll sit down and try to gather myself. Donovan came here just before you did and told me about Norma and Barbara. 
Then Norma broke in and attacked us. Donovan tried to stop her. When Norma started shooting, he managed to push me into the archive and lock me there. I miraculously survived. Thanks to him, I am very sorry that he's gone. Ugh. The perp jumped down and almost instantly ran into an alleyway. Not one of my bullets reached them, and by the time I got downstairs and followed them, they were already lost in the streets. But I doubt they had time to pick up their stuff, which means it's probably still out there somewhere. Please find it. I'll stay with Mr. Evans in case they come back to finish the job. Here, this might come in handy.
It looks like Norma's handkerchief. Could it really have been her? But if they wanted to frame Fred, this attack doesn't make any sense since Fred is already in custody. Mr. Evans, please help us solve this case. It's in your interest as well. There are indeed many of Mr. Brooks's secret papers here in the archives. There are papers on his transactions, including a second copy of a secret will. It's likely that it could shed some light on the criminal's motives. I can't tell you everything, but I promise to help in any way I can. I'm still too weak from my injury, so I would like to ask you to help me find the papers.
Yes, I admit that Mr. Books cheated all these people and bought land from them cheaper than its market value, but it's their own fault for not reading the contract. So, you see, it's not my fault. I will still help you, though. Many of them were dissatisfied with the results of the real estate transactions and tried to challenge them. Most of these people were single and died long ago, but Mr. Willoughby had two daughters. I should have his address in my documents. I'll find it for you now, and you can take my car.
I can't believe my eyes. My own daughter threatened to kill me when I said I would report everything to the police. I've called her Alina for years. A few days ago, my daughters came to me and told me about their plan for all these murders. I prayed it wasn't true, but I was wrong. As their father, I cannot allow them to continue these atrocities. My daughter Alina, I mean Barbara, kept a diary as a child. Maybe it will help. You can look for it here. You can visit their old room. I haven't been inside since they moved. Maybe there's something that will help you understand them better. You're right. We don't have time to waste. No, Dad, don't say anything. We were avenging you. We wanted to take back our home and live there as we used to. Nothing will ever be the same again, Alina. My daughter's real names are Alina and Adelaide Willoughby. As you can see, Brooks robbed us of everything, and the money we got was only enough to pay for this shack of a house. Shortly after we moved, my wife died of a sickness. We didn't have enough money for her medicine. I tried to fix it and cancel the deal, but they blackmailed and threatened me, so I gave in. But the girls, they have been planning their revenge for a long time. I try to talk them out of it. Call the police and give this diary to the detectives. This evidence should be enough. You can use my phone. I'll keep an eye on my daughter so she won't escape justice again.
Oh, it's you. Found something else? Great. Now we have all the proof we need. I'll send a unit to pick up Barbara. They'll take her to the police station. My informant has just reported that Norma was seen at the train station with a ticket. Please get there as soon as possible, or she may get away. Oh no, we missed her. Norma got on the train under a false name. We might still catch her before the train leaves, though. I'll go talk to the station master. He's already agreed to hold the train, but he's worried that people will be angry. By the way, Fred asked me to tell you that he was grateful that you were trying to clear his name. We ordered meals for the passengers at his expense. It might help us make up for the delay. Look for Norma while I get everything ready. Attention, dear passengers, the train's departure is delayed. We apologize for the inconvenience. As compensation, we have prepared free lunches that you can take with you. Please claim them at the canteen and have a pleasant journey. Let me go. You don't have any proof.
We have examined all the documents and evidence you have found. There is no doubt that Norma and Barbara, or Alina and Adelaide, to be precise, will be found guilty. Fred Jones was cleared of all charges, and he appears to be the sole heir to both Adams and Brooks' estates. It seems he intends to thank you personally and give you an interview. He says that he's going to renegotiate all of Brooks' deals and return the unfairly taken properties. The police are also interested in Elliot Evans' activities. Who knows which crimes will turn up there? In any case, on behalf of the police, I offer you my gratitude. Great job once again.